We're back. Yes, we are. And we're going to share with you why we took a break. Welcome to the channel. Wait, I don't even know how to start. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And these really are exciting times. Uh, if you are not a regular viewer, you may not know, but Paul and I have taken about a month break from YouTube. We have been on the road full-time as full-time RVers for three and a half years. Yep. And then we disappeared from YouTube. Liz does all the editing, and that just takes a lot of time. Well, one of the great things about our RV life, and if you're thinking about doing full-time RV life, is you can change so many components of it. You know, we're trying to fit in some bike riding, and we're doing a lot of travel. We had travel plans to move every week, and it was just becoming too much for both of us, really. Yeah, yeah it was taking its toll. It, was, it definitely was taking its toll. One thing um, that I think this time off was the most helpful um, was in resetting our relationship. So if you don't know, Paul and I met on the road. Um, we both were solo RVers for a year and then we met and Paul moved in and re instant relationship, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was no dating period. It was, it was met, moved in, slept on the couch for a few days, <laughs> then we were off and running. That's right. And it's been a wild ride. We've been together now two and a half years. But there were definitely been some bumps along the way. And I think if we had dated and got to know each other in a slower format, it would have been better. Relationships are important and you really have to put in the work to make them, to make them successful. So um, I, needed, I needed that to come to that realization more than, more than Liz. And uh, so I finally got my head out of my butt. And, and, uh, well, here's the thing, okay? If you are in a relationship and you're thinking of hitting the road, a relationship in an RV is like imagine being with your partner in an elevator. It magnifies everything. 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 So you may be able to get along just fine when you each have your own space in the house or you go off and go out with the gals or hang out with the guys. In an RV, traveling the country, you really have to put the time in for your relationship. And it's, it's, it's a constant thing. I mean, we, we're very happy together, wouldn't yes. you say? Oh, absolutely. I'm glad I'm here. I, I'm glad I'm here with Liz. I mean, it's, it's all good, but I did need a reset. Yeah, and you may find that you need to do the same thing when you're on the road because it does change the relationship when you're outside of your home community and you're on the road traveling because you can't just like ignore each other because you might be traveling and you and you're and you're a partner yeah, right? right you're a partnership so you know let's say you're having a fight with your partner you still have to help them pack up and drive and get down the road yeah or you're still together in that 150 200 foot square space right yeah. it is a tight space i mean 200 and what 250 square feet something like that and we have one of the bigger rvs yeah. so yours might be smaller yeah. um it can be challenging so just be prepared for that if you think that RV life is going to fix your relationship you might find it does the opposite because of the stress of it right pretty much you have endless possibilities you can speed up or slow down your travel you can travel seasonally if you want or you can move every couple days and if you find that you're hitting a pothole you know whether it's relationship or or something else you can just stop the travel you can say okay let's just stop right here and focus on what we need to do and and do it yep and that's kind of what we did we decided to stay in place for one month and then move and stay in place a month before getting back to our usual travel of moving every couple weeks that really started in jacksonville we, we extended our time in florida we were heading north too soon and the and the cold weather was was still upon us and and we just didn't want to to deal with you know 40 degree temperatures and, and lower in some cases. Well, that's the other thing about RV life is you get to pick the weather. And what we noticed is that we were chasing winter and we didn't like it. Yeah, yeah we realized our mistake and we've somewhat corrected it at this point. Sadly, we decided not to go up to Maine like we were planning to do. We've canceled that part of our trip north. Um, we're going to stay where we are now for a month, and then we're going to start moving again and um, head to 
uh, Niagara is one of our next stops. And then we're ultimately heading over to uh, the Philadelphia area to do our GAPCO ride, which we talked about in the previous video. Yes, yes, and I wanna say more about the GAPCO ride. But first of all, I do wanna say, if you are not a subscriber, and even if you are a subscriber, ring the bell. Yes, Be if you're not a subscriber, please, please do that for us. Uh, that's what YouTube looks at. The subscription button and the like button and the bell, uh, of course, is, is so you can see when we drop a new video. Right, and here's the thing. We typically drop a video every Friday at 5 p.m., but we actually have a backlog of videos, so we're gonna be springing a couple extra ones for you during the week, so if you ring the bell, you'll get an alert of when we put out a new video. Yeah, we've got some exciting stuff coming, I think. So back to the biking. First of all, I wanna thank you all so much for your suggestions. If you don't know, Paul and I have two big bike rides planned and you can come with us. We have videos about them. One is a week-long trip uh, starting in Pittsburgh and ending up in Washington, D.C. It's one of the most scenic bike rides. Did and I say Philadelphia? I said Philadelphia earlier, didn't I? Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, if yeah, he, yeah he it, meant Pittsburgh. It, Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yes. So these are fully supported rides. This first one is starts on June 4th. You can come with us. If you get 10 miles in and say, I just can't, I'm just done. I don't want to do any more of this. They'll pick you up and take you to the next destination. Right, and that's the same way with our second week-long ride, which is in the key. So these are both group rides. We'd love for you to come with us. We'll put a link to the video so you can learn more and ride with us. Now, if you can't ride with us, you can come along on our rides virtually on our bike channel. We have uh, another channel called Amazing Bike Rides, and it's just scenery it's just us riding uh, the early videos i was in the in the frame pretty much all the time the later videos starting i think around november of last year thankfully i'm out of the videos now you just see scenery and we added gauges and stuff so. yeah we added a speedometer and and a, a distance bar and and a graph for the elevation i think you'll like them and we are so glad to be back. We have missed you all. And again, we have tons of videos planned. Some that you'll really, a lot of them, most of them, all of them, you guys want to watch because yeah. they're really going to be great. Yeah, you'll love it. We have some products that I'm really excited to talk about. Um, stuff that, that is is absolutely needed on the road if you, if you don't already have it. In fact, uh, I'll give you a little hint. One of the things that we're going to do is we have a single bigger generator. We're reducing that to two small ones. And there's pros and cons of each, so you definitely want to watch that one. So if you have been on the road like us for some time as a couple, um, let us know any tips that you may have for keeping your relationship strong and for getting through the challenges.